Hey guys, I'm Nate the Intern, and welcome back to Built by Design. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about downloadable content. My team has actually compiled an entire library of first parts to make your modeling process easier and more efficient. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download that library, as well as what exactly is in it and how to use it. So let's get started. All right, so this is the Built by Design parts library. So I'm gonna click that link, and this library is gonna encompass all of the parts that you're gonna need in a first revised competition that we could find pre-modeled for you. Hopefully, this will allow you to speed things up even more because you're not gonna be looking for parts, you're just gonna find them. So here I'm gonna click save, and I need to save this in my project folder so that it's easily accessible and the file links don't get messed up. Now, as this loads, I'm just gonna try to, you know, use a little editing magic here to speed up this download time. All right, so now, now as this loads, we're almost done. And remember that this is a big file, so you might wanna download this in a place where it's convenient for you. Um, but also remember that these, you are downloading a huge amount of data. There's a, 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 this is a huge resource, and you definitely need to take the time to peruse it and look through it to find exactly what is in here. So now that I have it on my computer, I need to extract it. So I have this folder here, I need to click, right click, open, and click extract all. I'm okay with just, you're gonna be okay with the defaults and it'll extract it directly into a folder titled Super CAD Library. All right, so as it's finishing extracting, just remember that the more you can use pre-modeled components, the faster your workflow is going to be. So now that it's extracted, I need to go up and I need to delete the zip file because I don't want to have redundant data because it's a big file and not all your computers are going to be able to handle keeping tons of these redundant files around. So I'll go right click, delete, yes, all right, now that's done, I can scroll back up. Now let's say I wanted to look at the a field element, so I can go field elements, they're then listed by year, so we'll scroll down. And let's say I wanted to look at the trailers from Lunacy. All of a sudden, I have that part modeled for me. I can then go to open, go to my documents, and now again, I'm just finding that CAD library. Now in the CAD library, I can also go to a mechanical component. Let's say a structural component, an extrusion, 8020. Here you can see all of the 8020 extrusions natively modeled in Inventor. So this is gonna allow you to use these parts to create things like you can import that part into your frame generator and use it. You could also go to an electrical component, go into the control systems, and maybe you need the digital sidecar to model an accurate electronics board. Well, guess what? There it is, right there. You're done. All right, so that is possibly the most important video of this series. Hopefully, you guys have realized that what this library represents is an in almost having the time it's gonna take you to model a robot and inventor. Hopefully, you guys will all download this parts library and use it to the best of your advantage in the upcoming season. Until next time, I'm Nate the Intern, and this is Built by Design. Good luck out there.